So I'm gonna do the texture for this. We only have test, 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 test on this right now. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a texture for this. And I'm wondering if I need to make it bigger so that you can actually see it in your hand. Also just realizing I need to rotate it. Maybe I should make it bigger. I guess people will be able to read that, especially if it's like smaller. So I did this handwriting generator the other day. Uh, so we're gonna save, save this profile. I'm gonna put it under the intermediate assets. Hold on, let me test something. Does Firefox copy? Oh my god, it does. Nice. Nice, okay. I was curious if you copied a file from the Firefox folder or downloads thing, whatever it is. If it would move it out of your downloads folder, it does. Which is nice because it means I don't need to manually go and move it. Okay, so now it's going to be like supply list um, vodka, 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 oh wait, vodka, 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 potatoes. Yeah, so that's going to be our... Uh, Is it, do I just have it written as test or hold on I should have the UI wait what is this texture called that I have this set to right now should be able to just overwrite this texture I think it's called supply list dot jpeg no it's a dot png there we go okay Nice, very nice. So when we hold it in your hand, I can put it closer to you, and then it would just look bigger anyways. So that's, that is kind of hard to read. That is kind of hard to read. We just need to move it a little bit. So you know what? I thought about it and I was like, yep, my engine, the reason I went to go learn this is that like Unity is my choice of engine. Like C Sharp, like I have all my like quips with Unity, but like the core, the foundation of Unity, I do really like. I really like C Sharp. I really like, uh, like I just, you know when I was complaining about I was doing 3D modeling in Blender and I was like, man, Blender's Blender's had so many improvements, but it's still behind like the Unity editor. Like it still doesn't feel as good moving stuff around as it does in Unity. And it's like, yeah, man, I I like Unity stuff like that. I like Unity stuff. So I haven't changed any of the material stuff here. Oh, how would I make this? I should have maybe added, this maybe shouldn't be plain white. I should have maybe added, actually old paper was kind of like yellow, wasn't it?
Okay, let's see how that looks. There we go. All right, and I could have sworn that I have anti-aliasing on, but there is a there is no anti-aliasing right there. Um, anti-aliasing none. So this is this is a moment where our developer console can be very useful. Uh, so here we can just very quickly write in some code that does debug.log um, save dot data dot wait what is what is the save data we're gonna want? I think literally just save dot data dot anti aliasing will tell us the anti aliasing mode. Okay, so anti aliasing is set to zero. Did I fuck up the save file or something? Anti-aliasing 2. Oh my god, okay, something is bugged. Something is bugged. Is it... Is it... Hmm. Huh. Maybe it didn't load the save file? Wait, no. I have apply settings here, and apply settings should load. If saved uninitialized. Hmm. Okay, so if the save isn't initialized, I actually learned something about my own code. <laughs> Alright. Well, that explains it. When I just boot up the scene, it won't have any of this stuff. That, that developer console was just very useful. I, I actually think that's like, it was such a small thing I did the other day. I think it's going to help me so much. All right. I think that's good. I've kind of wanted to do another, like, I want to add some lore. Like, I want you to be like an alcoholic recluse in the woods. So I was thinking doing like a letter where it says like, oh, you're like, I don't know. We're like sad you are like a recluse in the woods. I don't know. Maybe your character was in like the militia or some shit and they're upset you left. I don't know. But I'm thinking of just implementing, even if I don't know what to put yet, I'm thinking of implementing a little mechanic. Hmm. Change the max enter rate action range from 10. I'm just going through all the stuff and seeing. Uh, okay, so yeah, I don't want to unlink it from the prefab. Alright, if I was gonna have like a letter on the table, what would you what would it be? It would be like, dear Mr. Hopton. Um uh, hold on, let me look up names of people in militia. Names of militias of people and people in the night eighteen hundreds. Cause I don't even know what a militia is. Um I might be doing this completely wrong. Okay, so militias actually were originally like British colonial militia. That's okay. Kind of the opposite of what I thought. Militia is an army or some other organization. Hmm. Alright, maybe I'll do something simpler. Maybe your character like left the wood left 
like the city or something after his wife died. Hmm. Cool story? It's not a cool story. That's a depressing story. It's supposed to be, at least. It doesn't really help when I'm smiling while uh, saying it. Time to overthink story. It's like no story. It's like character building, I guess. I guess the story. Oh yeah, and I have to. Do I want to do like a beginning section where like the player sees like a meteor. The idea is to not overthink it and try to keep it really simple. Are concerned to hear. I'm just gonna, you know, you just gotta write something and then we'll just revise it. How about you? What's it called when you like reclude to the wood? Is reclude a word? Reclude means to open. Wait, wait, wait. Wiktionary says it's to close off or to confine. What? To reclude meaning. Seclude, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. See, the thing is, it really depends what I'm writing it from. Do I want to write it from, like, I don't know, maybe, like, a colleague or some shit, so it's like, I am concerned. Or do I want to write it from, like, my idea was, like, he was maybe part of, like, a militia or the army or something, and they actually want him back. Like, it sounds weird doing we. This is, like, that's the thing with writing is it's like, is it overthinking when, like, this is actually what writing is about?
See, sorry imply sorry is bad. I guess just literally my condolences. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll just say like, maybe it'll just be some cold shit where the guy's like, look, I understand losing your wife was hard, but come back to work. Dude, writing lore and stuff is, like, so difficult because it, like, it intersects in so many different things. Like, you almost need to know about, like, like, everything. Like, in this case, like, what would, like, an old, like, 1800s, like, factory or, like, company or mine boss even be like? Like, they wouldn't even be this nice. At least I don't think. I don't know. I didn't live back then.
Remember to add achievements for reading. I thought about adding achievements. No, it's a, it's a bit too much. I'm gonna add a hardcore mode, I think, where you have one life. And that'll be about the most achievement-based stuff there is. back at the uh, company secluding yourself in the middle of nowhere helps nobody but yourself from sincerely we'll call this guy Montgomery Is that how you spell Montgomery? Wait, does that just say Montgomery cult? No, okay. Montgomery. Who? Exactly. Very simple, but douchey. Good. Oh, yeah. We should maybe make this guy his own handwriting. Oh, did it skip the new line? Oh, interesting. I have to put a space for it to register the new line. Whatever. I already saved the image. Fuck it. Is there a way to duplicate stuff in here? Did I just... Did I just duplicate something? I feel like I just did something. But I don't know what I did. Okay, whatever. I'll just duplicate it in here. And the other question is, yeah, so I want to... Ooh, I just realized I want to make this... I want to make this able to be... Ooh, I think I can actually make this be able to be picked up and placed just like this using the same script. I think I can reuse some scripts I already have. I just need to think about it.
Am I am I blind? Oh, it's just really thin. I wonder, I wonder about adding a normal map. Hold on. Let me try messing with this. Well, this is good. I'm trying to change the material of this. I think I could make it look a little bit better with... Shit. So I can't tile that. Yeah, that that does make it better though. Just a little, just a little normal map. Very subtle. Hold on, let me look up old paper. All right, yeah, it has a uh, distinguished tan color. Wait, was old paper tan because what did old paper look like? What did paper look like in the 1800s? Uh, papers of the 19th century were generally tan or smoke colored. Processing the rags using water with higher iron content. So tan and smoke colored, okay. How do I make this not so stretched? I guess I could make it clamp and then increase this slightly.
So yeah, I either need to resize the paper or... Hmm. So the issue is when it has the best font, it's way too small. So we're gonna make that a bit bigger. question is, is that so big you can just like read it? No, it isn't. Okay. So we'll make it so you can pick it up and then put it back down. Do I have this as a prefab? No. What does it have? The uh, the. Why is this a prefab? Override to paper. I guess everything is considered a prefab. Now, okay. want to do so we want to set this so it's like just just perfectly over the table where you can hit the letters but you can't hit this box Hopefully that'll be good. Let's see if this works. So hopefully you can pick this up and read it now.
Did you just... Did it just instantly put it back down? What just happened? What? Wait, what? Why did this end up moved? Wait, so is it instantly placing it as soon as I pick it up? Is that what the issue is? It is, and then it's not re-enabling it. Okay. So we gotta change a little bit of the script of this placeable item. So I enable all component, hmm. So on the item, I enable colliders. So this is actually enabled again, but it sets the interaction range to negative one. So I guess I should make it make an option resets and then if item dot is the item just a game object or do I actually have the uh yeah, required item? If required item resets, then required item dot interaction range equals. I guess I need to save the hmm. interactable. If interactable, otherwise negative one, and then we'll actually just set interactable to false here. And then this way we can just set interactable back to true. And then we still have the interaction range. Okay. Now I still need to stop it from repeatedly pressing that over and over and over and over and over again. So how would I add a cooldown to this? 
I guess I guess literally add a cooldown. And then we do a uh, public float interaction time. And so then we use this to check if it's in the cooldown range. We can also do this for placing and required item time, dot time minus item dot interaction time bigger than cooldown time. And then we reset the cooldown time if it resets and becomes interactable. Yeah, I guess I should update this. Actually, all do this together right up here. Okay. So set this to resets. Also add a cooldown time of like one. Should be able to pick it up. Dear Mr. Hopton, I send my deepest condolences about the death of your wife. Oh, it works. That's so nice. Okay. It's so simple, but so nice. It's kind of hard to read. Maybe I should make it bigger. Dear Mr. Hopton, I send my deepest condolences about the death of your wife. I understand losing a loved one can be hard, but please, uh, we need your skills back at the company. Sending yourself, excluding yourself in the middle of nowhere helps nobody but yourself. I think, okay. Oh my god, it's bugged. <laughs> Uh, it's bugged. Okay. So that's all right. I actually don't think it's going to be bad at full screen. So I need to make this not disable. Um, so if... not resets disable I think after this I'm going to do a bit of the 3D modeling on the map around here.
All right, nice. So we can repeatedly pick it up, put it down. Does you are already holding something? All right, yeah. I think I'm gonna do some of the 3D modeling around here. I want to like replace that rock area, or maybe not. The rock area is not bad. I don't know. I kind of do. I kind of want to change it. Make you drop the list of uh, the supply list there. Also, I think I want to have it say at the beginning, right here after you move around, I think I want to have it say, uh, pick up the supply list. Hmm. I guess I'm just going to do some of the 3D modeling out here while I think about it. And disable the camera easing. Oh my god, that's so much better. Okay. I don't know if I need this here. setting all this up again hold on we're just gonna go to the underground one here we're gonna copy the water stream and I think we can paste it here yeah we can that's nice That has physics. I don't, I'm not sure we want physics. Maybe we do. Is there a way I can make it emit from the edge? What is this like circle collider around? Hold on, what is that? Where are all of these gizmos coming from? So that's the shape. Oh, it's got, I had a wind and sphere collider on it. Oh my God, that makes so much more sense.
why is this tilted sideways? Maybe I should do multiple, if only I could do multiple emitter positions. Maybe just like an edge is what I want.
All right, so that needs to be lower. Either got to add an invisible wall or something here to direct the player. I will add some colliders.
Okay, that's broken now. It doesn't doesn't launch the player correctly. So let's fix this. I'm kind of happy with the map now. I still think maybe I could put some more trees right there. I was thinking I could do some billboard trees if I want to be really cheap. Okay, so that worked. Let's see if we're able to climb up here. Okay, yeah. I'm just I'm just going to put out of bounds boxes here.
Okay, I think we fixed this. I don't think you'll be able to go out of bounds now. No. It works, but it doesn't fade out quick enough, it looks like. So it should, should uh, fade out quicker. Alright, now I'm going to make it, once you're done this movement tutorial, I'm going to have it set, um, tell you to pick up the supply list. I should use one of these to actually say like um I think at a certain point I want to say this game has auto saving. Uh maybe I'll put that on the main menu.
All right, let's see if this works. Setting this up. Do I have it on stream? All right, this should show the display text. Pick up the supply list on the table. So those almost interlap. Follow the path outside to the village. Should disappear, yeah, there, okay. I think it's all working good. to redo this part right here. I just realized these are rendering in the wrong order. One of them is rendering over the other. Well, shit. I almost don't want the particles showing over this. I guess I could try and make the particles smaller. But yeah, then that would significantly reduce. Yeah, no. Doesn't really work.
All right, I think I'm good with that. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some water.
All right. I'm thinking about checkpoints a little bit right now. I try to do another playthrough from the beginning. Oh wait, I should do this rock section here. The falling rocks. toggle this when the player gets to a position. Stumble trigger, audio trigger. I guess I could do like a culling volume. I actually think I should start simulating this a little bit before because like if I don't they won't spawn quick enough like I kind of need to enable it before the player even steps into that area. Okay, I wonder if that would be good enough. Like you step right here and it enables. Should enable the falling rocks. I do want to add audio for the falling rocks though. Ooh, yeah, I want to add a rumble effect. Hmm. Do I want to generate a rumble effect? Or do I want to go to free sounds? Hmm. I feel like a rumbling might be something I can replicate just by like smacking my table like this. Like I feel like that that might sound like it. We'll see. I will test. Are you fucking kidding me right here? Are you actually kidding me, dude? Fucking Windows Search? Windows 10 Search is actually fucking broken. I brought this up on stream the other day. It can't even find apps that I have installed anymore. Like, apps that are under apps and programs don't even fucking show up half the time. Like, paint.net. 
And now, Audacity. I typed in Audacity and it fucking searched on Bing for Audacity. Like, it's on my goddamn computer. Windows 10 search is pathetic. So let's see how that sounds when we like turn that up. So that was, that was practically it. You can't hear it. Uh, I'm kind of scared to see what this sounds like when I normalize it. Okay, there's noise. All right, so that didn't create that much of a rumbling. Let's try something else. So that's getting higher frequency stuff. That does not sound like rumbling. I'm curious if I normalize it and then I reduce the pitch, does it kind of sound like rumbling? No, no, it doesn't. It sounds like me tapping buttons. Okay, so I think recording a rumbling sound with my mic, uh, is actually really difficult. Damn, I didn't realize that Audacity can actually generate pretty decent drums. I wonder here if it has something... I wonder if it has something that sounds like rumbling or I could do it with noise. Ow. What's the difference between brownian and white? This probably isn't going to work. I don't think... Maybe, actually. I feel like maybe by layering these, I can get the noise I'm looking for. Man, I'm, I'm learning how to make some creepy sounds, though. Jesus Christ, that made it worse. the makeup for gain. Algorithm not effect on the Effective on this audio, nothing changed.
I wonder if I could like rumble some noise based off some other noise. Oh my god, it's it's actually lagging. I should just go on free sounds, but I kind of I kind of do like trying to learn. I wonder if this is going to crash. What do you guys think the odds are that this crashes? I'm going to say like 50-50. Oh shit, we got it. Okay, so then I, I have a theory that if we add a new track... and then we generate noise... Holy shit, did I really generate eight minutes? That would explain why this is so slow. Or took so long. Okay, so then the idea is if we can somehow... I don't know if this has like modulation. Like you can modulate one track by the other, or... Um, like choose how they're added or blended together. There should be something like that, I think, in Audacity. It's normally used for like synths. Subtracting one track from another. Uh, highlight, effect, invert. Quick mix. Project quick mix? Am I dumb? Is there a project button I'm not seeing? I think mix and render is what I'm looking for. Enter Nyquist command. Ooh, can you program? Dude, can you actually code with this? Nyquist reference. Nyquist is a superset of the Lisp programming language. Um, it's used was to separate program. Ooh. Multiply track track. Did that work? 
I want to say it did. Oh, this multiplies it by itself. Interesting. This is cool. Tracks and selections. The value of track is a sound, a track is an array. How do I deal with two tracks at once? Is there a way to, hmm. Nick was prompt with multiple tracks. Hmm. So whatever you have selected will be the track. Is there no way... Is there no way to do multiple sounds? Damn. Audacity is actually even more powerful than I thought. I didn't know there was like scripting in it like this. Alright. I gotta go. Uh, I'll probably be back tonight, I think, for more development. Like I said, I want to just like get this game done. I'll probably just... Uh, I, I don't... I think generating with this with noise with Audacity is a terrible idea. I'll probably just end up... Um, I, I don't know. I'll probably either get something off free sounds or try and actually record something. Alright, I'll see you around. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are.